not going to stay there until 1.30. Uh, I'll have a coffee, please. Uh, what would you like in your coffee, please? Uh, double double. Okay, like two double double. Okay. You guys gonna be able to find your way back? I think so. Might be able to. Yeah, yeah. We can do it. Diane, how are you this morning? Are you ready? Oh yeah. Okay. I'm always ready. Good girl. Two thousand. George Marcello, who was one of our special guests here, is going to walk across Canada and going to visit a number of colleges across Canada and other institutions to talk about the importance of organ transplants. And most important, getting those, getting those organs to transplant it. So we're talking about organ and tissue donation awareness. Now you're saying, what, what, so what? You know, what's that got to do with me? Well, I bet some of you have already been touched by the fact that there's a lot of people out there who require organ donations and they're just not there. They're just not there. And it's important that we support this. I think the youth you know, of Ontario and Canada need to support this because you folks are going to be the ones that are going to directly benefit. We're very fortunate we have a lot of special guests here today. We have uh, Diana Dyson, who's the executive director of an organization called Step by Step. We have Mal Davis, who, whose son, Victor Davis, died very tragically, but whose organs were donated to a number of people. And if you don't remember, Victor Davis was a champion Olympic swimmer for Canada and came from this area as well. And we have George Marcello, who is going to be doing the walk across Canada. He's already walked across Ontario uh, and has received a lot of recognition for that. We also have two members of a group called SPICE. They're here. And uh, they want to talk about why they feel this is a very important message. First of all, I want to read you a letter very quickly, or part of a letter, from Carl Zare, who's the mayor of Kitchener. And he says, Conestoga College has played a strong and important role in the amount of support and recognition this cause has received. It is important for all of us to consider who will benefit from our organs when we pass, be it a child or an adult? The decision we make now can mean the difference between life and death for someone else. And folks, for those of you who are still talking, think about that for a second. Think about that for a second. We're talking about life and death. And if you can save one person, one person, you have accomplished a tremendous amount. By bringing awareness to colleges across Canada, Step by Step and George Marcello are providing opportunities for people to make a difference. Kitchener wholeheartedly supports the cause, and it is hoped that by raising awareness, individuals will consider giving the gift of life. Now at this point, I want to introduce our own Michael Harris, who's a VP here at DSA, and he is going to read a letter from Premier Michael Harris. Also, our own Michael Harris is at this point waiting for a cornea transplant. So I think this is very significant that he read this letter from the Premier. Mike? The 500 day walk for organ and tissue donation awareness. Like me, thousands of people across Ontario were inspired by George Martello and the whole step-by-step -step team during this year's walk. As George walked across the province, people listened to his story. They heard his gratitude towards the donor that gave him a new life, a new lease in life. And they responded both by signing organ donor cards and by letting the families know of their decision. More can be done to raise awareness so that more people will know that they can make a difference. That is why I'm so excited to hear that George is now planning to cross the country 
on the upcoming 500 day walk. I would like to congratulate the students and faculty of Conso College for their decision to support their walk. By working with Step by Step to hold campus events along the route, you will help more community college students to find out how they can save lives. Please accept my best wishes for a successful program. The Honorable Mike D. Harris, Premier of Ontario. Thanks, Michael. Again, I want to congratulate the students at this college and the DSA because we are the first education institution to get involved in this. And I can't emphasize how important it is, this very important project. At this point, I'd like to introduce Diana Dyson, who's the Executive Director of Step by Step. Diana.